The West Valley Humane Society has been helping pets find loving homes for years. But what happens when the Humane Society sees severe decreases in financial support? I'm your neighborhood reporter, Alexander Huddleston, and I spoke with the director here in Caldwell, who says that these budget cuts might lead to them closing their doors for good. Since 2022, charitable giving has gone down 30% nationally. The West Valley Humane Society in Caldwell has been feeling these decreases. So we find ourselves in a place where, you know, we're just kind of exhausting all of our reserves um, in order to keep the doors open. And so we want to continue to offer services. We want to keep our doors open, um, but we need financial support to, to do so. Jennifer Atkins, the director at West Valley Humane Society, told me that compared to this date last year, they are down $86,000 in funds with a significant decrease in adoption fees and reclaim fees. Shelter fees have also seen a $240,000 decrease as well. The, the biggest expense for us is staff. Um, so uh, wages, benefits, all that kind of stuff. And we have cut um, twice now. We have cut our staffing um, down to a bare bone skeleton crew to try to combat that overhead cost. Our a time and energy um, and our manpower is essentially really stretched to the limit. Atkins tells me that the goal is $500,000 by the end of the year. We would be set, like we'd be doing a really, really great job and feeling really, really comfortable. However, getting this money is becoming very urgent for the group. So we're we're looking as soon as next week um, to have to at least limit some of the services that we were that we are providing um, to what we are contractually obligated. Taking in cats, public vet services and taking in owner surrendered animals are a few services that are being cut. As I was leaving, I met Austin and his newly adopted dog, Max, who says that when you help this group, you're really helping the animals. I guess this experience for me right now, just being able to change this guy's life, and you know, he's going to do a lot for me as well. Adkins says that every donation will help, even the small ones, they all add up. So the easiest way to donate is simply on their website, which will be linked in this story on IdahoNews6.com. I'm your neighborhood reporter, Alexander Huddleston, Idaho News 6.